Hi everyone, this is Nora from SR Math. Thank you for checking out my video on how to use the test generator. So this may not necessarily be the test generator that you have. We're taking a look at the Algebra Basics one, but the way to generate a new exam is the same for every single one. So you can um, look at the tabs at the bottom here and the actual test is labeled test and the answer key is here. So if you click on that, you can see the answer key. You'll have your instructions and then check out the credits um, on that page as well. So to get a new version, so you have this one and you're like, this is great. And now I want another version. Click on this cell. Actually, you can click on any cell you want, but whenever you change something in the Google Sheet, it will generate a new version for you. So I'm going to change this one up here in this bar up here. I'm going to delete the one and put a two and press return. And now you can see that the problems have changed. The other thing to note is if you click on the answer key at the top, it will reflect what version you've made it. So if you want to make another one, so let's say you want a third version. We'll click up here, version three, watch number one, watch the problem change. There you go. If you look at the answer key, again, that will reflect that. Let's take a look at printing. So file, print. Now the way it's set up is the preview will show you the current sheet. If you look over here, it's just telling you the current sheet, but you want both of those, the test and the answer key to print. So click on workbook, but you don't want the whole workbook to print. So you want to click on the selection here. You don't want the instructions. You probably don't want the credits. You want the test and the answer key. We'll click on apply. And if you scroll through, you can see what you're getting here. And if that looks good, you would click on the next button and go through that. Make sure that portrait is selected. Okay, I'm gonna cancel because I really don't want to print. And that's it. If for some reason you accidentally change something and you delete something that shouldn't have been deleted and you don't know how to get it back, the best thing to do is go back to Teachers Pay Teachers and download the file again. That way you'll get a fresh new one. All right, I hope that you find this helpful. I hope that this is something that is going to make your life easier. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great day, everybody.